Hey everybody and welcome back to 30 Seconds or Less, the undisputed best and only video series about college basketball from the Daily Tar Heel. It's been a long winter break so I'll give you a quick reminder of how this goes. I'm going to give you five of the best college basketball games this week and then I'm going to pick each one in 30 seconds or less. Let's get into it. Game one this week is Syracuse at Duke. Now Syracuse is a very interesting team this year. They're 11 and 5 but they started off just weird. They had losses to UConn and Oregon but a good win over Ohio State. Recently, they lost to Georgia Tech but beat Clemson, so still no clarity there. Unfortunately, they're coming up against Duke, who just beat Florida State without Zion Williamson in the second half. There's been a lot of good games in this series. I don't expect this to be one of them. Look for Duke to roll 88-74. Game 2 this week comes on Tuesday. It's Notre Dame at UNC. Now, if anyone watched UNC against Louisville on Saturday, they looked abysmal. I repeat, abysmal. Luckily for UNC, Notre Dame is having the type of year this year where this would be the perfect bounce back win. Notre Dame was played to the wire by 0-15 Coppin State and lost early to Radford. Look for UNC to come back, get some confidence, get an easy win, 84-70 over Notre Dame. Game 3 comes on Wednesday, Virginia Tech at Virginia. Now it's rare for a game to be this big in this series. Both teams are ranked in the top 10, something that doesn't happen often. Virginia Tech is 14-1 this year. They've looked pretty impressive so far, but none of their wins have been super convincing. They lost to Penn State and really don't have that standout win yet. Look for a rude awakening for the Hokies as they travel to John Paul Jones Arena. Virginia rolls 64-51. Game 4 this week comes on Saturday. It's UNC at Miami. Did I say earlier that UNC looked abysmal? Well, let me say it again. UNC looked abysmal. They got out-rebounded, out-hustled, out-worked, they couldn't make shots, Louisville dominated the glass, and kept the Tar Heels out of transition. Roy Williams, after the game, said UNC got fat and happy after a win against NC State. UNC will beat Notre Dame Tuesday, but against Miami, they're continuing a downward trend. Miami will win, and look for 5'7 wonder Chris Likes to lead the Hurricanes. Miami wins 71-65. The last game of this week is going to be the best one. It might also be the best college basketball game all year. Virginia travels to Duke to Cameron Indoor. Now this is a clash of what I think are the two best teams in the whole country, but it's also a clash of completely opposite play styles and philosophies. The high energy, transition, high scoring freshmen of Duke take on the disciplined, slow, grinded out veterans of Virginia. Now I think Virginia is the perfect foil for this Duke team. Look for them to control the tempo, not turn it over, keep the Blue Devils out of transition, and pull off a big win in Cameron Indoor. Virginia's going to win this one 69-68 and claim the title as the best team in the country. That's it for 30 seconds or less. Thanks so much for tuning in. As always, please don't roast me when my picks are wrong. See you next week.